Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Chanel, the owner of Three Balls Handmade Soaps and More. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make our oatmeal bar. This bar is by far one of our best sellers and our customers just absolutely love it. So stick around and let me show you guys how we do it. Okay guys, so before you get started, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have everything you need, everything in arm's reach, because you don't wanna be searching for anything. So um, I have all of my stuff right here. We're gonna need a scale. I have my little scale. You're gonna need a thermometer. Um, you're gonna need a mask, some eyewear. I have another, I can't find my other mask, but it's one of those, one, like a shield. I also have a face shield. I just don't know what I did with it. But um, you're going to need something for your life to go into. Your water, definitely a spatula. And I actually need to grab my other spatula. I like to have two spatulas um, with me. I use one when I'm stirring in my live water solution. And then I use the other for like scraping the sides of my... Um, bowl once I get the soap once I'm ready to pour the soap into the mold but you're gonna need your soap mold I don't know if you guys can see that but so I just use this regular size mold you're gonna need you some bowls to pour your oils in some people put all their oils in one bowl I don't in the event that I make a mistake to me it's just a lot easier to separate everything each individual each individual oil until its own bowl yeah i'm creating more dishes but it is what it is um and then right here this is the mold that i will actually be using today because i have to make a soap for one of our um wholesale customers so we're going to be using this one today i'm going to be using this one but the recipe will be for the smaller one so the recipe that will be listed down below will be for this size mold right here okay so now with all this out the way this is you know what all we need and, and of course you're gonna need your oils as well I just didn't put that up here my table is only but so big so um but yeah we're gonna clear all of this stuff off and we're gonna get started with measuring out our oils so right here I'm just tearing my scale getting ready to weigh out my solid um butters and I do put my butters in the same container I don't think I mentioned that earlier my butters go in the same in the same container but as far as my liquids i weigh those out separately so that's pretty much what i'm just doing right here i like to be educated but i'm so frustrated hello to my Right here, we're getting ready to mix our water and lye together. You always want to make sure that you have on the proper equipment. As you can see, we have on long sleeves now. Um, of course, our gloves and um, closed toe shoes. And you guys, just be very, very, very careful. I like to mix my lye and water outside. Um, I do not mix it in my house at all. That's just me. You can if you want to, of course, it's your house, you do as you please. But for me, I do have a small child, multiple small kids. So I come outside and mix mine. So yeah, let's go ahead and always pour your lye in the water. Never the water into the lye. Don't y'all mind my little table, but anyway. Yeah, so always slowly add your, your lye to your water, okay? Never water to lie. Always lie to water slowly. All right, let's go ahead and do this real quick. I mean, slowly. Right here, I'm pretty much just slowly, like I said, I'm slowly adding the lie into the water. And it is sped up, so if it looks like I'm stirring it pretty fast, it's because I sped this part up. But so, yeah, we're just adding this in, and then it's going to eventually turn like a clear color you know once we get everything added in there you'll you'll see i do have a video in here where it shows like it turns clear so we just get all that in there get that up off the spoon i mean the spatula get that out the bottom and y'all these fumes are something serious do not stand over this container um i have on my 
I had on my mask and everything. But yeah, and like I said, I do mine outside because I need it to be like in a well ventilated area. And, and that's just me. Like I said, I, I do mine outside. I have small kids, so. But yeah, right here I'm just stirring. And then, like I said, you're gonna see it turn a clear color. Hopefully my camera picks it up. I, I believe it does, but we'll see. And once it turns clear, you know, I just let it sit outside for a few more minutes. Just to cool, just a little bit. And then I bring it in and I put it out of arm's reach. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess the ignorance is bad. Okay, right here you can see it's like clear right there. See how clear that is compared to how it was when we first started pouring it in? That's what you want to see. You want it to be looking clear just like that. All right, right here I have my butters on the stove and I do use the double broiler method to melt my butters and my liquids together. So that's pretty much what I got going on right here. And you wanna melt those down to the butters just to everything is like a liquid. Okay, now that we have everything all melted down and ready to roll and everything is cooled down right here, I'm just slowly adding in the lye water solution into my butters and oils. And we're just gonna stick blend this. Um, I kind of do the, I think it's called like the, the pulse stick blend or whatever you wanna call it, where you just like tap the button and you know, you spin it around like with your hand or whatever. So um, yeah, that way you don't have so many bubbles in there, air bubbles and things of that nature. But yeah, you just continue to do this, get everything all mixed. Once you get to the point of light trace, then that's when you're ready to add all your additives and your essential oils or fragrances, whatever it is that you're adding. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this is our only oatmeal soap, so we would only be adding colloidal oats to our batter. But light trace is pretty much when you can move the stick blender back and forth over the top and it leaves the little lines along the top as you can see there. So right here, I'm just dumping in my oats and we're gonna stir that up. I put the, slip, the stick blender back together and um, just continue to, like I said, stir it up, get everything all, blend it all up nice together. Um, you don't wanna continue to, you don't wanna hold the button on your stick blender because that will definitely cause you to have a lot of air bubbles and that is not what you want. You do not want your soap to be cut and you have a thousand bubbles in there. So, yeah, just do it till you get it to where everything is all mixed up. And I'm just scraping it off the stick blender because no batter left behind. These ingredients are not cheap. So right here, I'm just pouring it into my mold. And it's just pouring in there all nicely. And we're gonna scrape everything out because again, no batter left behind. These ingredients are not cheap, okay? So we're gonna get all of this out. Every last drop is going into this container. Everything. So you just scrape until you get everything out. Now you don't necessarily have to do this part. I do because I like to texture my tops. I don't texture all of my tops, just some. Um, but yeah, so I take the back of the spoon and just, it's, I mean, you just go, you just, I don't even know how to explain it y'all to tell you the truth. I just, all I know is I used the back of the spoon. I remember the first time I did it, um, I nailed it. So I was excited about that. But uh, yeah, I'm just taking the back of the spoon. And the reason why I'm doing it like this is because I will actually be splitting this in half. Um, and it's gonna give me the two separate, so I'll have like two separate loaves. And right here, I'm just sprinkling 
some oatmeal along the top and I did let it sit for a few minutes before I put the oatmeal on top but yeah and this is what it looks like no it is not food it is soap Alright guys, it is the next morning. Good morning. Well, the next afternoon. But we are about to take the lid off and we are going to cut this bad boy in half. Y'all, excuse me. That was my doorbell camera. Sorry. But um, yeah, so we're going to take this out of the mold. And I was kind of struggling here a little bit. So I did that off camera. But I am back and I'm molding it. And yeah, we just slowly peel it away. I wish I knew Right now that we have it unmolded, y'all look at that. Look at the oatmeal in this soap. This is the bottom by the way, but just look, I wanted to show y'all that. Okay, and right here I am just cutting up the second loaf. Remember, I split that one into two. So right now, I'm just cutting up the second one. And y'all, I'm going to upgrade to a better cutting board one day. One day. I'm, I'm going to get there one day. But for right now, this is what works for me. So I'm going to continue to use this one. So, but yeah, right here, I'm just finishing up the second loaf, just cutting it. And you guys are going to see me put the little finishing touches on there. I love my stamp. I got my stamp from Etsy, but you'll see that in a second. And I just want to show you guys the bars. So I'm right here, I am getting ready to stamp it. So I always lay down a piece of um, uh, cling wrap. I put a piece of cling wrap down first, and then I'm just adjusting the camera right here, by the way. But, and then um, I put down a piece of cling wrap, line up my soaps and then I take another piece of cling wrap and lay that on top so that way when I use my stamp nothing is stuck inside of my stamp so you'll see what I mean because the little letters are so little right there you don't want any, you don't want any soap to get caught up in those little letters because they are a pain to get out okay so we always put the cling wrap in between the soap and the stamp and then you just put it on there well right now I'm straightening out the clean wrap but you just put the stamp on there and you just press down on it some people use a rubber mallet I don't I, I just press down on it with my two hands and I mean it works just fine for me that's how I've been doing it since I had it so I, it gets the job done for us but so yeah that's what we're doing right now we got to stamp all of these and this is what it looks like isn't that so pretty it's so pretty look look at that soap oh my goodness you don't know if you want to just sit there and look at it or use it it's kind of hard to decide so that is it for today guys this is our only oatmeal soap bar Thank you so much again for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. And if you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button and the subscribe button. See you guys later.